Hello, Grant Wiley here from More Than Into Publishing. I'm here today and to tell you how to play Guadalcanal Solitaire in five minutes or less. All you need to play one of our book games is a pen, the book, and some sort of either dice or dice rolling app, which is available on our website, www.worthingtonpublishing.com. Uh, Guadalcanal Solitaire is our newest book game. It's available on Amazon.com. We have a link from our website. We're excited to show you this. Um, three pages of rules, a detailed example of play, and then you get 24 battles. Well, not one gene uh, than the previous level. The uh, Japanese get stronger as the game goes on, but here's a detailed example of play. The pages of rules. Here's, we've already played this one some, but I'm gonna walk you through a quick turn on this. And how the game is laid out is, the book laid out like this is a complete game. You have the Japanese bot player up at the top, his actions that he can choose, which will be chosen by a die roll, which can lead to Japanese events, which is again chosen by a die roll. You have the American actions and events on the bottom page, as well as the map showing the different locations. Uh, the locations on the map board from left to right are Point Cruise, uh, Henderson Field Damage and Henderson Field Repair, the U.S. Marine Reserves, General Vandegrift and his combat modifier, which is, reflects U.S. assets, the Japanese Reserves, Japanese Infiltrators, and then over here on this flank, Coley Point, Japanese and American. So the sequence of play is the American player is going to choose one action and mark the selected action on the turn track. There's 18 turns in the game, and on the turn track, the American player will pick one of his actions, lettered A through F. And they are Raid Point Cruise, Raid Coley Point, Raid the Jungle, which hits the Japanese Reserves. There's Patrol, Repair Henderson Field, which is important for victory, and F Appeal to the Navy for help, which then sends the U.S. player over here to a, a random event table. So, for this game, I've chosen E, Repair Henderson Field. I'm going to write that on the turn track noting that that is the American action. We then roll for the Japanese action, which is here, one through six. I'll roll my die roller, just tap it with my finger, a six, and that is use Japanese events. Roll one die and apply the results. So then we go over here to the Japanese events table, and we roll a die, a three. Attrition, eliminate one American SV at location of your choice. And there's a distorting note here, the U.S. Marines are fighting on Guadalcanal without relief, suffering hunger and tropical diseases. It was a very tough fight. So, I've got six forces on the board, Point Cruise, the Reserves, and Coley Point. I'm going to mark through, X out, one of my men here at Coley Point. That's my choice, that's the attrition. Now I roll for the U.S. action, carry out the U.S. action, which is E, Repair Henderson Field. I roll a die, and on a one through three, I'd have got to mark all, or color in this block for Repair Henderson Field. Um, all the information you need to play the game is located here in the book. It tells you how to conduct a Japanese attack, which is based on Japanese actions chosen. Let me zoom out here for a sec. Um, Japanese attack at Point Cruise and Coley Point is different than a Japanese attack at Henderson Field. The Japanese are basically trying to overrun Bloody Ridge here at Henderson Field and capture the airfield. It can also be destroyed by naval bombardment by the Japanese and, and artillery bombardment. Uh, combat is conducted very simply. When the Japanese chart calls for it, you roll to see if the Japanese attack. So, for point cruise here, it says roll one die, and if the result is less than or equal to the Japanese strength value at point cruise, you attack the Marines there. Otherwise, you add two additional SV to the Japanese in this location and roll for an artillery bombardment of point cruise. So, the Japanese have two strength value there. If I roll a one or a two, the Japanese attack the Marines at point cruise. If I roll a three through six, I'm gonna add two more strength to the Japanese there uh, based on, on the chart, and then I'm gonna do an artillery bombardment of Henderson Field. The artillery bombardment is very simple. You roll one die, and on a one, it does damage to Henderson Field. 
If the amount of damage done to Henderson Field ever equals or exceeds the repair value on Henderson Field, the Marines lose. The Japanese and American combat is conducted very simply. We're going to do a, a Japanese attack here on point crews. We've got two strength against two strength. What you do is you, you check the strength of the Japanese, which is two. You roll a die on the bonsai table, which is right there, which can add from anywhere from zero to two additional strength to the Japanese. So let's say we add one, so now he's at three. You then take half the reserve strength, which is two, rounded down, so half of two is one. So now we had three, we have four, and we check the infiltration strength, which is zero, and that's the Japanese strength. He's at four currently. For the American, and again, everything's on the book page, you don't have to flip through the book, you're going to check the American SV total, two. You're going to check for air support which is the difference between the field repair and the field damage. Right now it's two. If you look at the air support, we get zero air support if it's one or two. So the Marines right now are defending without any air support. They're at two. You take half the reserve strength of the Marines, which is two. Half of that is one. You add that to the two there. We got three. And you add the assets from General Vandegrift, which is plus two. Three plus two is five. The Japanese have four strength, the Americans have five, the Americans would win the battle, and you would mark through, X out, one of the Japanese strength here at Point Cruise. Now obviously as the Japanese are building up during the game, this has changed a lot. If the Japanese total exceeds the American total, the Americans lose a strength at that location. If the Japanese strength value, final tabulation is double the Marines, they overrun that position and destroy, capture and destroy Henderson Airfield, you lose. So walking through the sequence of play, the American player chooses their action and marks the selected action on the turn track as we showed. You roll for the Japanese action, which can lead to Japanese events. You then carry out the American action. There's now an end phase after you carry out the American action. And during this phase, every third turn, the American gets one SD that they can add to any of their locations. Also, at the end of each turn, the American player can transfer forces by Xing out and then filling in at lo other locations. So I could take these two from my reserve and move them both over here by Xing out the reserve position and then filling in two blocks over here. This can be critical to reinforcing danger, areas in danger or areas where you just want additional strength. In a nutshell, again, you get 24 plays in the book. Uh, every six game, the game levels up. Uh, you also get the battle log at the back uh, and some designer notes that you can log all your wins, losses, and that type of material. Again, it's available on Amazon. You can also go to our website to find out more about the game. We hope to be publishing more of these videos in the future. Be sure to subscribe and click the like button and also click the bell icon to be uh, notified of future videos. Thank you and have a great day.